What's up, guys? This is West Point Steve coming at you with a hashtag positive gaming. Um, wanted to do this um, after I saw some. What's up, guys? Uh, a couple videos Steve this last week, and a hashtag I wanted to um, discuss the that idea of what I've been hearing recently about Destiny, and so I wanted to um, play Destiny tonight and um, talk about um, what is going on with um, Destiny and what people are saying about it. Um, pretty interesting thing um, to talk about, but I'm going to talk about a couple things here um, that are going to be pretty interesting with the gameplay and from what I've heard and, and stuff like that. So um, bear with me. I mean, some of the things you might like, some of the things you might not like, you may agree, disagree. But the, the whole point of it is, is that um, get get the understanding of you know what we're getting, what are we playing, um, updates, and, and stuff I've said before when it comes to video games nowadays versus video games a long time ago. So um, enjoy the stream um, and join the chat if you if you like. Um, so uh, so. <laughs> there you go. All right. So here we go. Um, join the chat. Talk about things and um, and and what I want out of this out of this is to get a good um, good experience with what what you're what you're playing and and stuff like that. So here we go. I'm um, just gonna might play some Crucible or or do a couple of missions. I haven't played the, played it in a while, but. Um, as you can tell, I, I've been speed running and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna do this and see how it goes. Okay, so join the chat and um, let's let's have a good chat about Destiny tonight. And um, feel free to to leave your comments in the chat room. Um, and and no no um, no messing around. I mean, uh, keep keep the language good and. Uh, Give me your thoughts of, of what you think about um, Destiny tonight as you as you come along. So here we go. Um, as I'm waiting it for for it to load. Well, hello Titan. Haven't played with you in a while. All right. So, oh, Iron Banner, <laughs> hello, Iron Banner. All right, um, it's been a while, so let's see, let's see what's going on. Six friends online. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, okay. All right, uh, Saturn. Ooh, I got some things going on right here, so we'll go to the tower. All right. Um, sounds like there's a lot of lot of issues going on with like updates on Destiny and stuff like that, and and um, um, people being lied to. It seems like the community is being lied to um, in, a, in a certain way um, where Bungie has said they come out with something and they say, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to change the game a little bit, make it better for the um, for you guys. And, and they've done nothing in, in that return. So um, pretty interesting thing to talk about there. Um, I think... I think what we really need to discuss here in this context is, you know, what are we, um, what do we expect them to do? Um, do we expect them to, do we expect Bungie to, you know, do better, do more for us? Um, as gamers, are, are we expecting a whole bunch of stuff um, that they want to come out with? You know what are we, what are we getting, what are we getting here? Um, what do you mean by? We got special order after special order after special order. Give me motes of light. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, strange coins. Strange coins. Strange coin. All right. Okay. Thank you. So here, here we go. 
as feels like something is going on. with everything it's going really slowly going on I think my okay I think my recorder has frozen so we're gonna shut it down all right here we go sorry about that I don't know what's going on. So this is a first, has not happened. It's a good while. Alright, are we good? Can I can I move the camera without having any issues here? Can I move my character without having any issues? Alright. Anyway, um, so going back to what I was talking about, I mean, you really have to consider what do you expect the the you know the game makers to make. Um, in today's society, we expect perfection from um, gaming companies, and what why are we expecting um, perfection is I have no no idea. Um, there's always going to be flaws in games. There's always going to be something that somebody doesn't like. Um, and that is, you know, that goes across the board no matter what game you're playing. Um, you're, you're going to run across issues with any video game, um, that you play, whether it's sports, whether it's action, whether it's, you know, um, you know, horror games, um, you know, classic video games. I mean, even stuff that you don't don't like in a classic video games. And I mean, I could name a bunch of classic video games and say, hey, you know, um, you know, this this is not good. This is you know, this is I don't like this game. You know, because of this and this and this. Or I mean, this is you know, I don't like um, this game because of this issue. You know, every game's gonna have flaws in them, um, and you know the Game companies are not going to just listen to, you know, a few people who think, oh, you know, this game's, the the update was terrible. The update was terrible. I mean, yeah, I mean, who who, the update might have been terrible. Yes, um, Bungie may not have came out with the stuff that you wanted in the game, but um, that shouldn't stop you from deciding. Okay, what kind of game do you do you expect to expect to have here? Um, when I look at when I look at playing Destiny, I think Destiny was set up not for PvP, and a lot of people have been thinking, "Oh, this game is especially is a special for PvP." As I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go, um, I look at it this way. I'm like, "Wait a second, you guys don't understand." Um, you know, Destiny wasn't created as a Pv PvP kind of video game. Um, as I look at it, P uh, Destiny was designed to um, go at missions, to level up characters, to um, be a mission-based game where you join other people to defend the galaxy, basically, is the idea, the premise behind the game. Um, is not, it is not in a, a, a game where you go to the Crucible and that's all you play. And so what what um what annoys me is that people look at it more of a as a as a PvP game than anything else and I think this is where people get upset. If you look at the PvP games that you that you could play whether in Halo, Call of Duty, um yeah, that's going to be too hard for me. 
um, Call of Duty, um, uh, what what else? What else is there? Um, shoot, Halo, Call of Duty. Um, those are the main two. Um, you play any of the Call of Duty games, you're gonna be in for, you know, you never know what kind of match it is. But a lot of the community says, oh, well, um, I we're we're tired of playing against people who are the same. The, the same skill level as us, the same, you know, this and that, and, and getting tired of these matches that they waste their time playing. And, and, I'm, and I have to stop and say, hey, wait a second, dude. You're saying that Destiny is only based on PvP. Well, it, it, that's telling you right there that the only reason why you're playing Destiny is for PvP. I mean, look at the popular games that was basically based on PvP. Halo, for one, was, you know, mission-based all of a sudden. When Xbox Live came around and stuff, it was huge in multiplayer. Call of Duty, same way. Call of Duty hit it up um, with the multiplayer games, and it's just, it was tons of fun. And so... I think what people are missing is that Destiny was not made for that reason. And people are trying to say, okay, Destiny is, is terrible in the, you know, multiplayer action. Well, I, I tend to agree with that. I mean, I don't like playing, um, I don't like playing PvP because you get the same, um, you get, um, the same experience, I mean, but a lot worse because you're either on a good match or you're on a terrible match. And I think I think we tend to miss the mark with that sometimes because you have your good matches, yes, you have your bad matches. And so who cares? I mean, it's going to happen every in no matter what game you're playing, whether it be Halo, whether it be um, Call of Duty. I mean, you're going to have your bad terrible game uh, terrible games like that and you're going to have your games that are blowouts, you're going to have your games that are close, but most of the time you know, in Destiny, you see this more often, that you're either in a blowout or you are going to win by a ton. So, so I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I really dislike the idea that Destiny is based on PvP. Now, with that said, um, a lot of people are playing it for the PvP. So, so, let me ask you this question. Um, let me ask you this question. So, why did you buy the game? Did you buy the game thinking that PvP is going to be the best? And the gameplay? Because I can tell you right now, a lot of video games... Um, Online gameplay is not its main focus. I'd probably say 90% of video games. That might be stretching it a little bit, but I would say 90% of video games are not based on uh, multiplayer gaming. It's based on the storyline and what's going on in the story. I mean, you look at um, Look on Halo 5, I mean, storyline and multiplayer is what its big things are. Um, they focus m more on those and making and perfecting those. Um, you know, Bungie did that with Halo when it started out. I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's not a hidden thing. It's not anything new to them. They've done, they've done multiplayer before. However, I don't think that's the purpose of Destiny. So Destiny had the idea of, you know, let's get people playing together on a, you know, one one person game, but let's get people playing together on these missions, and that was something completely different than that than what you've ever seen in a video game. I mean, you've never seen this in a video game before, which I think is interesting. You just never see the idea of playing together, on, you know, one one player playing together on, you know, playing with multiple people on Xbox Live on the same missions. I mean, that's what it was made for. I mean, Halo's tried that before, but guess what? 
Um, not the best idea. I just walked myself into a mess. Um, so that's the thing about Halo and Destiny and all these games is that you gotta understand the content for which it is it is made for. I mean, co-op is fun in Halo. Co-op is a good opportunity to play in Halo, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm not gonna lie, spent some time playing with my brother a long time ago. You know, with these with the idea of you know co-op the missions, and it's a lot of fun. Playing with a couple of buddies of mine is the same idea. I mean, you are going to have um, lots of fun playing with multiple people in Halo. However, I mean, you got to understand the premise behind it. So, I mean, is it is it mission-based plus multiplayer, or is it just a multiplayer game and the mission story part of the game sucks? I mean, you got to know those things, what you're getting, what's coming along with these games. So, when, when people are saying, oh, you know, the latest... Um, update from Destiny is not very good. Um, what's not very good about it? I mean, do you expect them to change something dramatic, dramatically in the game, to, for your benefit? Because are you sure all the game players, like all the players, want the same thing that you want? Um, I don't know. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the fact that Destiny is not going to change for everyone. So, and, hey! oh boy, I'm in a world of hurt, did not expect that to happen. All right. I'll fend them off for a while. I got this thing. Ah! Oh. It's gone. He disappeared. Or it's just took an ogre. Not even Oryx can All right. kill an ogre unless it's taken. Now quickly, I need a shard of that crystal. Uh ooh, what? Um All right. And does it still hold the so moving on to what, so what I was saying earlier. So um, DLC is very popular in the gaming community nowadays because I mean you're expecting more from the game, you're expecting something better. Well, I mean the Taken King was something better to Destiny. Gave us new missions, gave us new stuff to, to mess around with. Um, made us have to level up characters again, which was the unfortunate thing. I didn't like that part. I mean, who's gonna like? Everything about what DLC gives us. Oh boy. Oh. Yo. I'm running, dude. All right. Yeesh. This is the first time of me playing this, by the way. But yeah, like, uh, but I've I've heard people saying, "Oh, we're gonna not play this game anymore." Um, um, even my one of my good, um, um, even some of my buddies are not even gonna play it because they're saying. We, the the game's got to change. The game's got to change. Well, you know what? Um, I know 
I know that GameStop is um, taking games back, and you can get your money back for this game um, if you don't like it anymore. So, I mean, I don't know what you guys are complaining about. I mean, yes, I haven't played the game in a while, and I've been focused on other games, but it's like, I'm playing it right now, and I'm, I'm not having a bad of a time right now just playing. I'm playing a campaign or, or missions or stories, whatever you want to say. So, I mean, it's... It's not like I'm not enjoying the game still. Um, I think people are focusing way too much on the idea that it's PvP. It's got to be PvP. PvP's got to be a lot better in this game. You make PV, uh, PvP's the way to go. Well, um, then you're playing it for the wrong reasons. I mean, I'm playing it for campaign. I want to. I want to play the campaign missions. I like the story missions much better than the Crucible anyway. Um, I think it's fun playing with uh, multiple people on these story missions. So, I mean, I think that's, I think that's what um, people are missing the mark on. They're missing the mark on the fact that, what in the world? Whoa, what is this thing? Anyway, um, me to make copies of this journal. so DLC is going to give you what you got. I mean, I mean, uh, the gaming community is uh, not the gaming community, but the uh, companies, the gaming companies, are not going to heed to just a few players. Um, and I mean, I want you to think of it this way: it's like, how about you go out and make the game yourself and see what what you can do? I mean, it's if you think the game needs to change in this sort of way, why don't you go do it? You know? Um, it just doesn't make any sense. The The people make the games as best as they can. Don't expect what... Um, don't expect perfection. And I think we're missing the mark on that. People are expecting too much from people nowadays. Um, expecting too much from a brand. Um, they think it's it's got to be this way or not um, and so it's just upsetting that we can't please everyone um, and yet we gotta find um, we gotta find reasons to um, go against it and I mean Destiny is a great game I'm not gonna lie it's not it's not the perfect game I mean, it, it was fun when I was playing it over the summer. Um, getting back into it right now. I mean, it is it is what it is. So, I don't know what people expect half the time. Uh... Oh, um, it's in a drawer in our kitchen. Aluminum foil. So where the aluminum foil? Is. Oh, not all oh, masking tape. I have no idea. Uh, I didn't know it was over here at some point, but. All right. Anyway, sorry for the delay, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna stick to, you know, things I I like about video games, and just you know, stick to my kind of things that I like about um, the gameplay. I mean, I'm not gonna be picky on on gameplay on what it, what the uh, game needs what the game needs better if if it if the DLC is better I might pick it up we'll see I mean it's not like I'm expecting you know oh the game sucks so the DLC's got to be got to enhance the game this much better to make it the best game ever no I mean it's not going to happen so um people not liking how PVP works how 
how um, the DLC, how the update hasn't changed too much of the game, it's, or it's changed the game too much. Um, guys, it, it's it's just a video game. Um, I think we can survive without it. Um, now, with that said, um, as I'm playing this mission, I'll probably just you know end the video on this mission and stuff like that as I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Hey, open. We opening the door? I mean, I put the relic in. Are we? Are we not opening? Do I need to go down? Is it telling me to go down? Nope, it's telling me to go right to this door. This way. All right. Okay, I'm trying to escape, but obviously it doesn't want me to go through yet. Hey. about time got the relic walking it back over here all right yay I have a bad feeling about this door oh okay maybe not going upstairs. Alright. Um, so what's really the deal about Destiny? I mean, what are people really complaining about? Are people complaining of the fact that, you know, this game is not getting any better? I mean, are they complaining? What is, what is your deal behind, behind it? And that's what I want you guys to think about. It's like, yeah, are you... Ow, owie, owie, owie. Um, it, so it goes back to the idea, what is your main purpose behind the game? Why did you get it? I mean, if you don't like it, return it. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. Um, you know, they don't have to, they don't have to cater to your, um, the game, the gaming community, the gamers, I mean, they will always like things about Destiny, they will always like things about video games, but they'll always hate about one thing and then rant about it. Um, if that's the case, then go make your own video game. Um trying to put it nicely so I think there's better ways to handle it just get through the DLC or get through the update I mean what what is the big deal behind it um, you know it really doesn't matter is it really gonna matter in the long run how you are thinking about the game and how you're gonna play it I mean is it really gonna affect how you live your life and if so, then I think we're looking at the wrong thing here. So, I think we need to take these things a little less serious and, and say, hey, you know what? Maybe um, I'll just try to figure out and let, let the... Uh, um, let the companies take care of it rather than me having to tell them, hey, you know, your game sucks because of this and this. So, um, just my little two cents there. 
Um, like I said, I, you know, I haven't played the, I haven't played Destiny in a while, but really, what, what is your beef behind it? Um, if you, if you don't like the game, then, um, just take it back. I mean, that's, shoot, I was, shoot, I would, I would love to have your money. Um, if you don't want the game anymore, then, uh, just give it to me. I'll give it, I'll return it, and, um, I'll take the money from it. So, anyway. Um, I want you guys to understand that the gaming community needs to understand that, you know, um, it's supposed to be fun atmosphere. I mean, Bungie's not going to be perfect with how it makes video games. Um, their updates are not going to be perfect. Don't expect perfection in a video game because it never happens. Somebody's always going to complain about it. So, what is really the deal with Destiny? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I guess people are just having, um, issues with it, and I think it's more towards the multiplayer PV PvP matches in the Crucible than anything else. I mean, is it really, is it really that the only thing? So, as we look through, um, the rest of the game, I mean, I don't know what else it could be, I, I don't know what else could it be, I mean... Taken King has, has been good so far. I mean, I've been playing it um, tonight at least. Um, it's been a while since I've played it this this long for this. Um, and I really need to get back into it because I haven't, haven't finished the stories yet. But, I mean, to me, it's a fun game. And, and I think people need to realize that, hey, you know, um, what's the fun side of, of Destiny versus... You know, when you complete all the missions, oh, what, what can else can I do to play it? I mean, that's where Call of Duty and Halo are so fun because um, Call of Duty and Halo, um, the the multiplayer is, is really good. And I think that's probably why people complain and it's falling short on that idea that PvP is the last resort for everybody to go to. And they're, quite frankly, not happy with it. And so... I can see it in their in their respect. I can see why people are upset. I can see why um, why people don't like the game. But you got to realize that Destiny, I don't think, was made as a PvP game. It was made as a um, it was made for um, for a story mode. Four gameplay, and you're dead. Yeah. It was made for that kind of gameplay. It was made for a storyline. It was made for the for this idea that I'm playing for right now. It was not made particularly for PvP. I mean, I can tell you right now, I didn't get the game for PvP. I didn't think PvP was going to be the, the bulk of the game. And now people are saying, you know, this is the reason why people don't like it. And so, um, got to realize that sometimes the game that itself isn't made for PvP. It's made for, for storylines. It's made for this reason. So, um, my two cents there is, right there, there's my two cents behind Destiny um, as I finish the mission. Yay! Um, it's, it's really what it is. I, it really boils down to this kind of this kind of game it's it's a mission game like like this as you can see as I complete the mission um, this is what it's made for it is made for missions it is made to bring people together to attack missions and and um, um, raids and raids are f raids are fun with multiple people but people even get sick and tired of doing those over and over and over again so um, and that's why, and that's why um, I think, you know, people have now gone to Crucible, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, Crucible's terrible." I mean, I get to play with these random people, and they're they're terrible, and this and this and that. And you know what? I guarantee you, Bungie did not make that as a as a big thing. I mean, look at look at what you got in this game. And, and we're gonna end with this, so I can end on a positive note here. Um, I don't know if it's been all positive or negative, but I'm trying to think of the positive aspects of this game versus um, 
you know what people really are complaining about so here we go um, let me upgrade here while I'm thinking about it all right Um, there you go. All right, do I have any more stuff here? Ooh, I got the happy horn. All right, you got anything else here that I need? Ooh, what does this shielder look like? Um, Let's see what this one. Oh, it's white. Uh, let's see. Ooh, all black. Hello. Like the black mamba. Anywho. Okay, to upgrade everything that I need to, because I'm I'm not really trying to. Okay, so I'll need to go to the tower here. But look at the things that you can do in this game. Okay, other than crucible, because it seems like people focus on the crucible way, 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 way too much. Okay. So let's look at the things you can do. You can go to the reef. Okay. Um, you got the house of wolves. You got the arena here. Um, you got this stuff. I mean, you can, you can do all this stuff. It's fun. Okay. You can do that stuff. Um, you got missions here. You got nightly fall, uh, weekly nightly nightfall strike. I haven't done that in forever. I mean, you got the daily heroic um, strikes. I mean, you got you got weekly strikes. You got a lot of things here. I mean, it's not it's not like you're really really trying to do. Um, it's not really trying to get you to do too much. I mean, you got the iron banner. You got the competitive multiplayer. Yes. Uh, you got the skirmish here. I mean, the crucible, but I mean, the story is is what's what it's all about here. Um, you know, you have your you have your um, you have your other strikes. You have your raids here. I'm curious if I can do that by myself now. Um, actually, I don't think I can. Um, and all this stuff here. I mean, that's what it. That's what the whole point of this game is, is to, to have us um, play the raids, the missions. But, I mean, the Crucible, look how the Crucible is expanded. I mean, when we first started, I mean, this is basically all you had right here was this middle section. And now it's, like, gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I mean, I think people are, you know, not understanding how, here's the Crucible. I haven't seen the Crucible in a long time. Wow. Wow. Anyway, so so understand what we're doing here. I mean, what I'm trying to say is is that I mean, if you if you have a hard time with a video game, don't expect perfection in an update, and and don't expect the you know um, the game companies to to you know, change things up on just a few cries because the game was not very good in, in this certain as aspect. Oh, they need to change the Crucible. Okay, so you give me the best ideas on how you should run the Crucible. Okay, I mean, should it be ran like Call of Duty? Should it be ran like Halo? Ah, pff, don't know. So, don't don't say that the, you know, the idea is we need to change it, we need to change it. Um, it needs to be like this or it needs to be like that. I mean, sure, Bungie might know that, but Bungie might also see that, you know, most of the people like it the way it is. So, I mean, I wouldn't try to try to say that everybody feels the same way about about Destiny. Um, you know, is it really true that everybody feels this way about Destiny? I don't know. Um, so think about it and, um, and understand that, you know, destiny has evolved and has become better and better over time. It has not, you know, just been a game for, um, um, it's not been set as a game 
one way and one way only. So understand that it's it's a game that does change, it does get better, but you gotta know that it's you know um, not going to change for one person. So um, just my two cents. I think that's what we need to understand is that Destiny is getting better. Um, you know the gameplay gets better. Um, I, I still don't like the fact that I had to redo everything, but I mean it is what it is, and you just move on. I mean you just move on and keep playing. So I mean that's what you do with any video game. Do you keep playing Halo because Halo changes, or do you keep playing because Halo has become better? Um, the story, the stories become better. I mean, what do you think? I mean. Do you stop playing Call of Duty? I have because you know, Call of Duty has gotten old on me. Um, I think there, I, my personal feeling on Call of Duty, I think it's not getting any better than what it, what it's done. Um, Black Ops Three, whoop, whoop D. Um, you know, I, I, ever since the Advanced Warfare and all the uh, the Modern Warfare series, there, trilogy right there. Um, not gonna lie, I, I don't think it's you know after that those three games I don't think it's gotten any better. Um, maybe Advanced Warfare, but uh, you know what? It, it I don't know. I I don't know. So so I don't get it. So there you go. I don't buy it because you know it, it's just old on me and it's just you know it's the same old stuff to me. So. Um, I won't get it. There you go. Everybody understands now. All right. Anywho, um, hopefully you take this to heart. I mean, I mean, there is really, I mean, the deal with Destiny is really nothing. It's not their fault. I mean, it it really isn't. I mean, uh, it's not. It's not. Um, what I'm trying to say, it's not on them. I mean, it's what you perceive the game to be. Do you perceive the game to be a different um, perspective? Do you perceive it to be this certain way? As a lot of people are, and I think a lot of people are perceiving that this game is a um, crucible multiplayer game only. And so, I think that's why we are focusing on too much there, and um, and that we need to just, you know, calm down because. Let's be honest. Um, we can't make a better game than what Bungie's already put out for us. The game is good. And everybody knows that. Um, and people always want better. And so... Um, and that's never going to happen. It's, nev it's not always going to... Um, not everyone's going to be pleased with something. And you're not going to expect... Um, everyone to be happy with changes that are made to a game. So, um get off the uh, get off the idea that, you know, Destiny is should be done this way and Destiny should be better than it than it was and and all that stuff. So, um it's a good game. Enjoy it, play it, have fun with it. Um and if you don't like it anymore, you don't have to play it. I mean, I'm sure you I'm sure you have more games than what you ha what um I'm sure you have more games than that and play a different game. I mean, that's really the deal as I die. So there you go. There you have it. Um, thanks for watching guys. Um, and, uh, just let it, just let it be known. This goes to any video game. It doesn't just go just destiny. I mean, this goes to any video game. There's a lot of things you won't like about, um, about a video game when you get it and uh, there's gonna be a lot of things you like about it and so it happens with every video game um, understand that it's just a game um, you're not going to you're not gonna expect perfection and so um, if you if you put too much assumption to a video game of how great it's gonna be um, you'd be you'd be surprised on um, how many people bring the game right back a few days after they buy it. So, um, 
don't set up set the expectation play the game see if you like it um, and understand what type of game you're playing is it made for multiplayer is it made for both the story and multiplayer is it made for story um, or does it even have multiplayer so you gotta think of those things and um, know the game you're getting and understand um, what's fun with it and play it to those aspects versus you know expecting everything to be fun in the game so there's my two cents about this um, you know I wanted you guys to think the uh, positive aspects of this I mean a lot of people complaining about this I've watched I, I've seen things on Twitter that you know people don't like um, Destiny anymore um, and they've stopped playing it and, and I say you know it is what it is it is what it is Destiny is either gonna get better or it's not so um, and I mean I leave that up to you to judge I mean you're going you're going to figure it out real quick if you think Destiny's going to get better or not. So anyway, there's my two cents about what's the deal with Destiny. Um thanks for watching guys. Um thanks for coming out. Um and please subscribe to my channel West Point Steve Gaming. I'm going to put this on YouTube tonight and have any, you know, watching the gameplay. I played some of the Taken King missions, so um there you go. And um have a good night, and follow me on Twitch and Twitter, and yeah, there you go.